Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Could I start by associating my party with the Home Secretary's remarks about the tragedy in Leicester? And our thoughts and prayers are very much with yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. families there as well. Mr. Speaker, the Minister suggests that the situation in terms of Tier 2 cap is under review, but that, with respect, is not good enough. Yeah. Failed applicants from over the last three months may well have no option but to apply again in the months ahead, making it ever more competitive for Tier 2 certificates of sponsorship and making the problem much worse. Surely, if there is some sort of review, or if we have to wait for the MAC, it makes sense to lift the cap in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're very clear that businesses should look first to employ people from within the UK, and we remain committed to reducing migration to sustainable levels. Interestingly, businesses have told us that our system compares well with our global competitors and that they like its speed and its certainty. Stuart C. Macdonald. It works well for some businesses, Mr Speaker, but not all. Breaching the Tier 2 cap essentially meant that to qualify for a certificate of sponsorship in December, a job would have required to offer a salary of £55,000 or above, and that might be common enough for multinational companies in London, but it's much rarer elsewhere. Absolutely. Given the Government says it wants a system that works for the whole of the United Kingdom, will she make available information about the geographic spread of jobs that qualified for certificates of sponsorship over the last three months when the cap was breached? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd like to reassure the Honourable Gentleman that, of course, we do keep a separate shortage occupation list for Scotland, if that is to which what he refers. But that broadly reflects the shortage occupation across the whole of the UK. We do look very carefully at this issue, as he might expect. But it is important that he reflect upon the fact that we are determined to have a migration, an immigration system in the UK that works for the whole country. 